works. And I asked her where, the, where chocolate came from. She didn't know, and I just read an article. And eventually, throughout the day, we realized we didn't know the origins of most common things. And all right, so then you set up. Where did you get all this information? And I how did you know it was I ransacked real? almost every library in New York reference room. I spent about a year just compiling information before right. I sat down to actually write the book. All right, let's start with the favorite, I think, of all of ours, okay. chocolate and M&Ms. Uh, oh, M&Ms, I found out, were specifically designed for the GIs going to war in 1940. Why? And the slogan was, the candy that melts in your mouth, not in your hand, so that the soldiers could get a quick energy boost without gumming up their trigger finger from chocolate. Oh, good idea. I think it was a great on. marketing play. How old is chocolate? Where did it start? Chocolate itself is about 1,000 B.C., and it started with the Aztecs and the Mayas. And it used to be a drink, as a matter of fact, a very bitter drink, until uh, the Spaniards came over here and added sugar to it. And then it became a rage of the Spanish court, and the Spaniards had a 100-year monopoly on it. They did not let anybody else know where they got chocolate. And it got out. <laughs> Actually, it was so prized that when uh, the Spanish princess Maria Theresa married King Louis of France, part of her dowry was chocolate. Boy, now you have all these little facts floating around in your yeah. head. What about the pineapple? You have a pineapple there. Um, the pineapple was first spotted in the Caribbean and brought back to uh, Europe. And it was first grown in France. And when the first pineapple was presented to King Louis XIV, he greedily grabbed it and bit right into the unpeeled fruit. Oh. Of course, he severely lacerated his tongue, mm -hmm. his lips, and he issued a fiat that no more cultivation of pineapples in France, and they did not see another pineapple until he died and his successor took the throne. Well, I imagine he needed a doctor. Let's talk about medical practice. Uh, the medicine, origins? okay. Yeah, medicine, medicine was... Uh, the Babylonians were the first great uh, medical men. They had lots of met different medications, and they had a... Um, rule that if a doctor in lancing an abscess should kill the patient, then the doctor's hands were both cut off. Oh. Very severe for malpractice. I was going to say, no malpractice, malpractice insurance, that took life. care of that. You also talk about embalming. Embalming, of course, we know started with the Egyptians. They had elaborate, sophisticated techniques oh, some 5,000 years ago, but modern embalming, which was very interesting, started in the 16th century, and that was injecting a preservative into the arteries. And, um, William Henry, the discoverer of the circulatory system, started it. But it became such a craze that embalmers, would, especially in the United States, would take their corpses on tour of the, of the South. They'd take them and prop them up in barber shops and county fairs, and people would flock around to see the latest in preserving the body. And people would actually line up to sign for, to be embalmed when they died. It was a great craze. Huh. Well, we're almost out of time, but just tell me where the watch. What about the watch? 1500s, Germany, and the first watches were so big, you had your servant carry them. And when you wanted the time, you just turned around and said, time, please. You had and somebody to go along with you? Right. Well, we're out of time right now, but thank you, Charles thank Finotti. You. It's a fun book. Thank you. And we'll be back right after this from General Foods. Tomorrow, Kathy Lee.